the Pseudo Nerd Podcast. Or a board game revolution, as I like to call it. I've never heard you call it that, but <laughs> you've said it you've now said it, I think four times and it is the title of the of the rundown. <laughs> Teetering between dude and dork. From a physics or realistic standpoint, it makes more sense than this Death Star that can just like do that. These friends discuss everything from sports. I hope you don't win a playoff game with your kicker scoring the most points. To movies. The whole idea of like Hermione and Harry Potter, it's, it's just like, it's like having like the jock getting with the cheerleader to me. To cheese burgers? Baconzilla is just an extra thing I'll have. It's an added bonus. It's a little treat. The two Baconzillas I get are the extra added treat. This is the Pseudo Nerd Podcast with Josh Kaiser. You could come in there, scissor kick some people, do a spin rooney get tossed out. Josh had it. If you've never read the graphic novel and watched that, you walk away from it thinking about Batman and Batgirl instead of Batman and Joker. And Kyle Hope. He's just like bathing in his blood. Get ready. The Pseudo Nerd Podcast starts now. Welcome, everybody, to episode 66 of the Pseudo Nerd Podcast for August 18th, 2017. I am your podcast host, Josh Kaiser, and I am joined today by Josh Haddix. Oh, finally, The Rock has come back. And Kyle Hoagland. You know what? You should be cut off. What's going on, everybody? By the way, wouldn't this actually be considered a short sort of... You know, only, I was, only because this, I was this is debating actually, whether we, we did a full episode last time. I was debating whether we we're going to call it episode sixty-six or pseudo short sixteen. Either way, it is the eighty-first and final edition of the pseudo nerd podcast. So take it for whatever you want it to be. That's what it is. Um, if you didn't, if you missed the SummerSlam podcast, we did make the big announcement that we are changing gears, going a new direction, starting a new podcast. But we thought. We try to get the gang back together for one more show, give you guys the series finale you wanted. Because you never, you never liked those shows that got canceled early, and they ended before everything you know, was wrapped up. So we thought we'd, we'd get everybody in here, and we'd wrap it up. You know? we, had to, we had to get uh, Sierra Miss to, to, to sign off on one more episode. <laughs> which uh which, when they found out that Haddix was going to be on it they were like all right well, I mean I mean he they was had to. They, they had, they had, had to. to no choice no Sierra choice through big were... money Billy's Mart threw big money at us I mean it was just sponsorships left and right for this final episode of the student we're, podcast we're taken care of here that's all I can say rallies actually threw some money in big Buford for Kyle Hoagland big Buford's all around tonight yeah, I, I feel I feel like each of us has our own uh, special sponsorship I feel like yeah Billy's Mart was Kaiser's the uh, rallies was mine, and uh, Sierra Miss was <laughs> the best part. Is, the best part was it was uh you know live on a pseudo nerd podcast that uh you take you had your first big Buford. True, it was a first for uh, was it first for all first of us? for all of us? Yeah, but more more surprising that it was a first for Hoagie. That's I mean, true. I've, that, I am yeah. a I constantly well, constantly is a really weird way of saying it. I am a frequent visitor of. Rallies. I'm and, constantly uh, at rallies. I'm constantly <laughs> at rallies. I I have never not been to rallies. Uh, but no, like the the big Buford was just look. Here's the thing, man. You have a you have the big Buford, which is delicious. Don't get me wrong. It was a good sandwich. But right below it is the Baconzilla, and like I, as far as like the order numbers, like the number one is the big Buford. The number two. Is the Baconzilla, which is basically you are constantly at rallies. If you know, know the orders of their value I meals, I was just about to say that. But it's just you know, look, it's more cheese. It's got more bacon. I mean, come on, well you, it's a no brainer. The other one's got vegetables in it. Like, oh, come on, come on. <laughs> I'm not going constantly to rallies for vegetables. You know, <laughs> exactly. I'm not. I'm not going to constantly go to this establishment and not get bacon and extra cheese on things. I feel like that's your motto for life. That is my credo. That that is probably on my family crest somewhere yes. in Latin underneath. Something. I don't go anywhere without getting bacon and extra cheese. 
I wonder what my I wonder what my family crust would be. It would be like a video game controller. You're saying it wrong. You're saying it wrong. It's family crust. <laughs> <laughs> but it would probably be something like a video game controller with like just like a, a hairy chested man with no shirt on holding a with a balancing a cheeseburger on his chest. Like <laughs> that would be on like a, be on you're, you're standing on a mound of macaroni and cheese. That'll be on all of our flags as we're like retreating through all the you know the the wars of history. I would say though, like in like your epitaph, epitaph. How do you say that? I think so. Yeah, uh, yours could say uh, always ordered extra cheese and bacon. You know, but you don't have to. That's that's, that's the magic of the baconzilla. You don't have to order extra bacon or extra cheese because there is already a sacrilegious amount of it on the burger. So you don't need to. If I ever go to another place, if I go to like to a Wendy's or a Burger King or a McDonald's, McDougal's, if you will, if I get like a cheeseburger or like a quarter pounder, I always ex- ask for extra cheese because there's never enough cheese on the burger. I go to I go to rallies. I order a Baconzilla. They know what the hell is up. They're so like, not a, guys, so, here we go. So is one slice of cheese not enough cheese on your burgers? Is that what you're saying? I believe in on a standard cheeseburger. Standard. If I'm grilling out. Which I hardly ever do with cheeseburgers, but <laughs> I if don't, I did, I've 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 very I'm constantly at rallies, but very infrequently grilling out. <laughs> I grill no, I grill steaks, and I grill you know ribs, but not usually not burgers. Um, but if I do grill a burger, fair enough. It is it is bun, cheese, meat, cheese, lettuce, pickles, onions, ketchup, mustard. Bun done. That's so that's, two pieces of cheese per burger is what right. you're saying. Per, or per, per patty. Well, probably not. Well, no, I wouldn't say per patty because if I got a second patty, I would just put one more piece of cheese on top of it. <laughs> so no, it wouldn't be like four pieces of cheese for two for two. So basically, no. we're doing it's an n plus one type of thing. It's yeah, every, it's like yes. for every patty, there's a piece of cheese plus one. There's right. there's always a piece of cheese on underneath and on top. For all you math nerds listening out there, a little n plus one, Kaiser, you know what I'm talking about. I'm I'm right there with you. I'm I'm following yeah. you. I if we, I, if we had to build a formula for e Hoagie's burgers. <laughs> Seriously, <C squared. laughs> I just you, know Hoagie, you, you should open your own burger chain and call it n plus one, and have know. nothing but bur- like meat and cheese. That's it. Not even not, not even patties. Just not, no, just, not just, even, just meat and cheese. Just meat and cheese and no lettuce. Nothing. Uncooked, uncooked beef <laughs> with American cheese, and, and you don't grill the, the and you don't grill the burgers there because you don't like grilling burgers. You just buy them. <laughs> it's not that I don't like grilling burgers. burgers. You just microwave just, them I don't, up. <laughs> I don't. Here's my thing. There's two reasons why I don't grill burgers. One, I just I if I do have burgers at home, like I usually will just do them on like a skillet, just real quick. It's it's such a simple thing to make, but if I, I think it's it's it's, it's just messy. It's a messy thing to cook on a grill, so. Me, my grill is usually reserved for chicken or steak. Or I mean, in fairness tops. with you, I, I think I agree with what you're saying. I don't cook burgers a ton on my own grill unless I'm having like people over and I'm grilling burgers out. Like, I sure, don't but I have to... no friends, so that's well, why I, I have my lonely sure. steak or my lonely yeah. chicken. Uh, yeah, but no, I tend to like pork chops, chicken, steak, all that kind of stuff. I'll grill it all the time. Burgers, I don't tend to just grill... Every once in a while, I'll grill out a burger, uh, but but not that often when it's just like me or me and the, and the missus or I'm, something like I'm that. I'm of the mindset that anything that can be grilled on a burger is better on a grill. You, you're, right? grill you're, you're grilling yeah, on a burger? Is that what you're saying? Anything, <laughs> anything that can be <laughs> I think, grilled yes, is better I grilled. That's the thing. I agree, no, I agree with that. you got you got to take into account just the, the prep time, the cook time. <laughs> It's, it's just, it's, more just like it's a laziness thing for Kyle. I yeah. say the prep time is turning the turning your <laughs> tank on, and that's it. You Unless like, are you like grilling like a charcoal grill? Because then you got a little bit more time to do. Okay, with that I'll, understand. that I'll give right, you. No, no, look, guys, you know you've known me for a long time. Do you really think I have a charcoal no, grill? Absolutely not. Okay, I was giving you, you the yeah. benefit of the I, doubt here. I honestly, don't even know if you have a grill, Hoagie. So I, don't, <laughs> I, I know what. Funny He's got a George right Foreman. Now <laughs> right now, I don't have a grill. He right now, I don't. I, George Foreman, and he calls gr- it a day. Last time I saw my grill, it was hitched to some like rickshaw 
like <laughs> weird looking little trailer that somebody took back in California because the people that loaded up my truck couldn't fit the grill on there. So I right now am grillless. That's no grill. Bear grillless, just friendless, grillless, uh, burgerless, all kinds of lesses. Right. Well, a lot of lesses. Uh, we've managed to spend almost eleven minutes now discussing ch- discussing burgers, uh, which pretty much was what our podcast was about uh, 50, oh, 30 episodes was, ago, if you count the shorts. Yeah, it, was, it was episode fifty, right, yeah. or forty nine, whatever it was. I think it was fifty, so we're at eighty one total. This so, one should be called Pork K on Borghese. Um But you know, that said, let's let's shift off the burgers here. And it is our final episode of the Pseudo Nerd Podcast. And we, we kind of discussed before, but like I said, um maybe you haven't well, well, me, maybe me, they me have me it. Because yes, has been around for eight years. years. Um if you if you guys have not listened to the SummerSlam podcast, I'll just briefly go over what you know why we're stopping. Uh, we decided uh, it was a lot of work, a lot of effort, and a lot of money that we were investing in in the and it was uh, it was tough to say the least. And we we thought we would we kind of wanted to shift, try something new, and we're going to be doing a podcast all about the Monday Night Wars, uh, WCW. Uh, versus the WWF at the time, and kind of going through an episodic look at all of the Raws and the Nitros that took place, you know, starting in 1995. Uh, with we're coming up on the 22 and 22nd anniversary of the debut of Monday Nitro here, September 4th, which will be the release of our first podcast. This new new uh, new podcast, so. Uh, that's kind of where we're heading. So we're not totally going away, but we're just, you know, kind of pivoting. Uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to have new content every week. I think we'll kind of enjoy things. It'll kind of be a, a, you know, a fresh new, uh, podcast for us, a new di- uh, direction. So, uh, you know, I don't know if you, Haddock, you didn't really get to say anything about it before, but, uh, you know, w- you looking forward to this new, uh, route we're going? Yeah, I mean, uh, you kind of touched on it there, and I'm uh, sure we've kind of mentioned it in the past. Uh, but wrestling is something that came easy to all three of us to talk about, uh, something that, in a sense, we're passionate about. And while there were some topics like that out of the 80-something we did, uh, some of them were not. So those ones were kind of the harder weeks to kind of get through, kind of seemed... Eh, kind of like a hassle, tedious type of thing. Whereas, at least for me, and I know you and I have talked off air, Kaiser, but I would never watched WCW really at all, and I and I didn't watch the earlier WWF stuff. So this will kind of all be new to me, even though I'm fairly versed in the Attitude Era of of but maybe, wrestling. But maybe that's a good thing because they'll be as I was watching back then. I went th- I went through windows where I didn't watch and did watch, but. Uh, it would be nice to have somebody on the podcast that was so into the Attitude Era that you're going to go back probably three years before then and kind of get an idea of what wrestling kind of was before. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And it, I, I mean, I'm kind of in that boat a little bit. I've now, you know, I've seen some pay-per-views here and there as, as time's gone on, but we're starting in 95. I really didn't get back into wrestling until... April of 98, I think it was, uh, after WrestleMania 14, whenever, is that 98? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, shortly after, you know, Austin won the title, there was kind of about the point I got back into wrestling. So, we've really got almost three years of, at least two and a half years of content that, other than a pay per view here and there that I just have happened to watch, I'm really unfamiliar with myself. So, it'll be kind of interesting to kind of see the, the growth of the product during that era and see the, the, the two sides. And for me, another interesting thing is, is Haddock's without ever seeing WCW, it's going to be fun for Hoagie and I to see your kind of thoughts on the product there and some of the talent and, uh, you know, what they did back then. Yeah. I mean, other than the big NWO storylines, because they were so big at the time, uh, I really don't know 
I, I couldn't tell you any other storylines other than the NWO stuff that happened. So, like, it'll all be fresh to me. Yeah, it should, it should be fun. It should be a lot of fun. Um, like I said, keep a, keep an eye out. We'll probably tweet out on our Pseudo Nerd podcast a link to the to the new show and our new social media feeds. We're still kind of playing with the the names. I know last time on the show, Kyle and I mentioned maybe we're going to call it the Monday Night Marks. I uh, did some searching and found three or two dudes who started their own uh, Monday Night Wars podcast. Did about five episodes, but they called themselves the Monday Night Marks. Um, so we can't use that name, unfortunately, even though those people stopped and, and didn't and kind of started l- later. They're doing a different show than we would have done anyways, but, um, we'll keep, we'll it's keep about, looking. It's about respect. It's That's about, right. it's about civil, it's about civil discourse. All right. That's if right. it wasn't for Hoagie, we could be the Monday night Josh's, but Hoagie ruined that. It's so. true. Right. Well, I'll, nobody would, no one would listen to that. Please. I wanted to do something like, and I know you guys don't want to use the word vintage, but I thought just because of Michael Cole always saying vintage this and vintage that, I thought that that would be an interesting thing to say, like, you know, the vintage experience or something like that about, you know. Uh, the, vintage the just reminds me of 1920s black and white, like, like vaudeville sort of <laughs> era, you know, that kind of. That's what I think of when I think of vintage, like a steam engines going roaring down the tracks, that kind of thing. You're going way back. I'm back going in vintage. Time. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that said, let's let's talk a little bit about, you know, that's kind of what where we're shifting to, but let's talk about the Pseudo Nerd podcast as a whole. Uh, you know, we kind of went into this not knowing what we were going to do, how long we were going to do it. And to be honest, guys, 81 episodes, that's 81 straight weeks that we managed to put out an episode. Now, maybe we weren't all there every week, but for the most part, we were. Um you know, so first of all, I got to say kudos to us because I think that's pretty impressive. You don't see 80, that. You don't 81 see that. is a lot. 81 is a lot. You, you know, even some of these um, big pod shit, Ric Flair has a podcast and it didn't last a year. So he, you know, he probably had, you know, 40 episodes or so. So, you know, we lasted twice as long as uh, Ric Flair's podcast. I mean, By the way, sp- sp- speaking of lasting long, I mean, <clears throat> shout out to Ric Flair. I hope he gets a speedy recovery. Yeah, absolutely. I saw something. I saw something today that they had to remove part of his colon or something. I like saw that, that but, too. There's been yeah. some kind of rumors and stuff. So, just thoughts thoughts with the Nature Boy. Hopefully, yeah. everything's yeah. going. Uh, well Nature, as I have it in my phone. Right? There, there you go, Nature. If, if, if there's one, if, there, if there's one guy that maybe Haddix didn't get to watch a whole lot of, but is definitely I can't probably. Wait. Yeah. I cannot wait for some Ric Flair. Oh, moments. you're gonna you're gonna see so. a lot of Ric Flair. In fact, oh, uh, if you guys haven't watched the first Nitro yet, which we'll be breaking down here very soon. Uh, Nate is is right there. Um, Nature, I can't on wait. the card, so you got that to look forward to. Uh, that said, you know what are your guys' fondest memories of of the Pseudo Nerd Podcast? Is there a particular show or or a couple that you know stand out to you? Um, you know, it's uh, I kind of had a feeling you were going to ask this, so I was thinking about it a little bit earlier, and I don't know if it was because it was so new or we had, we were just starting, but I really enjoyed that first month that we did on star Wars. Like I, I think there was a lot of information there. Uh, you know, Hoagie's a uh, dollar breakdown of what it would cost. <laughs> all day, uh, Hoagie, if you guys ever want, you know, for those of you <laughs> math nerds out there, the one of you guys who might be going and join a burger at M plus one, maybe you can get a breakdown of how much it costs to build a death star. Yes. But, but I, I, I really enjoyed that was back when we were doing, uh, you know, the month long, particular topic topics and, yeah and that one i felt like and again maybe it was kind of the just the excitement that we were starting it was like the first thing we did uh but i really enjoyed talking about you know star and then the anticipation of, of seven coming out so that was fun my fondest memory other than uh us pretending as hard as we could even though we did two podcasts every year about baseball uh was us trying to you know just fake it for for a good hour and a half um you know about <laughs> making people think that we know anything about that sport um but the fondest fondest memory is and i still have it and it's i think it'll always be something that'll be a good listen is episode zero of the pseudo nerd <laughs> podcast <laughs> the, the original star wars episode is that Oh, I still have it. It's it's on our YouTube, but it's private. It has a private link, so no one can look at it unless I actually send the link out. What a bad episode that was! It was so bad I mean, we re-recorded the next day. 
<laughs> yeah, we we actually we actually went to bed that night and felt dirty as hell. <laughs> we all, I lost like, sleep. <laughs> Oh, so God. maybe, maybe as a as a going away present, maybe I'll publicize that pot that that episode for everybody, and just kind of just to see. And also, it's just kind of it's interesting to see how we started with the podcast, like what how the production value of it is, like the fact that we did not really have any kind of we didn't have the theme music we have now. We didn't have the you know the intro that our friend Zach created for us. Which, by the way, sorry for wasting your time on that, Zach. And uh, uh, Zach owed me. Oh, okay, fair enough. But um, I mean, we we started like we were a bunch of jabronis doing a podcast and like with no you know idea which foot to go forward with. So it's going to be very interesting. And eighty-one and like episodes said, later, we're nowhere. We're not even anywhere closer than we're we're actually worse. That day. Yeah, <laughs> we're actually one step further back. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's 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 so bad that one third of our of our crew doesn't even want to be on the podcast anymore. Yeah, seriously, I I don't even have a baby. I was just making that up. I'm gonna say that I don't know what that is that you keep on carrying around. <laughs> but. <laughs> what was your favorite moment, Kaiser? You know, it's it's funny. Is I was trying to think of my favorite episode. You know, because there there are some good moments uh, throughout. Um, but I, I, you know, I'm scrolling through. I've got I've got the whole list up here, and I gotta say, you know. For for three guys who just kind of did our thing without really promoting uh, or anything like that, we had basically three thousand plays and three thousand downloads uh, in total, which you know pretty good for you know for eighty episodes. I'd say that's uh, it's all right. Um, you know, just just looking at, I'm kind of scrolling through right now and trying to see like what was what was you know an episode that stood out to me. What was one that uh, you know, really enjoyed doing at the time, and right now I'm just looking at, it and they're all crap. So maybe there, you know, maybe there isn't, maybe there wasn't <laughs> any. It. I hated every single one. So uh, honestly, no. the one I liked the most was honestly K. Umbergesa, only because that was just it was the only one where we were all together. That's the like where we all shared right. the mic. We That's all didn't true. feel like we were in our isolated rooms. But we we were talking. It was like this. It was our Seinfeld episode. We talked for an hour about nothing. And, you know, obviously we talked about, you know, it was kind of like our year in review about, right. you know, the podcast. We're gonna in many ways, it's, it's sort of reflective of what this podcast is right now, you know, between the burgers talking about the future of our podcast and, you know, the whole thing and, and the podcast as a whole. And it just sounds more, you know, it sounds more conversational. It sounds more real. It sounds more like it's three guys who actually know each other. They're talking about what they want to talk about. Whereas you can tell in some of our podcasts that, that there is, um, there's some, uh, I came up saying genuinity, but I'm pretty sure that's not a word, just a genuine, you know, feel to what we're talking about. And then there's others where I'm sure you can tell, like, we're here to talk about this because it's, it's topical and, you know, it, it, we didn't have anything else better to talk about this week where I think now that we're going to go towards this new platform with doing the, uh, nitros and raws uh we're already big wrestling fans so every week is going to be fun to talk about an episode that we this. always you know we always be a topic that we're at least familiar with in some fashion whereas sometimes here we have a baseball podcast that some of us are less informed in or right, let's than let's let's be honest here we all hated the baseball podcast right now. we should have never <laughs> we, we should have never we did, done them. we did dread those in many ways um yeah. i will say but, I will but on, the other, on the other end of that spectrum though like we have I mean, probably at least what five podcasts a year. That's just on wrestling, so you can tell that wrestling is a big part of our lives. Oh, God, yeah, right. Right. follow. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did more on that than we like. We probably had the same number of sports podcasts as we did just wrestling podcasts. Right. Um, that said, that kind of I was just thinking our our most popular podcast of all time uh, was our Cleveland Cavaliers championship review. Well, uh, yeah. Um, which I think was a fun one just because, you know, A, we won a championship and we were able to do it. But uh, it also just always makes me laugh thinking of that intro with uh, LeBron James and, and Hoagie, <laughs> where, it's, where, it's, where it's quote Hoagie, where Hoagie's like, yeah, the, you know, the Cavs have no chance that, you know, four Warriors in four or five. And then LeBron's basically like, man, you don't know me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That was uh, that was great. That was remember when uh, Kaiser used to find clips before every uh, 
That was find my whole a, first year, man. I I did a lot of work trying to find those find clips the, and make find them a work. clip before the podcast, and then we did. I, did, I, did I say Warriors in five this year? Because I'm pretty sure I did. Or maybe I said Warriors in six. I, I mean, said Warriors in six this year. I was about to say. I mean, so did the entire world. Did the whole world had ex- did the you, whole did, you world. Go out, did you go out there and poll everybody? He did. did the they, did they reach out? Did they, they reach out, out on, on your poll? Yes. I don't know if you know this, but uh, we're a, we're a global podcast, and they were tweeting us like crazy. You can tell by the point zero 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 one percent of everybody in the world that has listened to this podcast. And we're gonna not, we're gonna we're gonna compare zero. to that scale. It's not zero. That's true. This is true. Um, I just was thinking, you know, trying to think of my like, favorite quotes and stuff. Uh, I did appreciate when Hoagie thought Sting was doing the halftime show. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone's favorite quotes just me being an idiot? Is, is that what this is? This Pretty thing? much, I think so. At least those are my, those are the that's, quotes that's that are memorable. Thing. We're going into a podcast now where I questionably and maybe sadly and scarily, I may be the uh, the Lorax of. I might be the one that actually has the most like knowledge of the topic, mainly because I soak in very very unimportant knowledge. I don't remember your guys' birthdays, but I'll tell you how many world titles, like, you know, how many times Rick Martel won the Intercontinental title or something like that. You know what I mean? Right. Just because I can't get rid of it. I'm sorry. It just, there's only so much that my brain could hold on to, and, and after that, everything just spills out. <laughs> oh, man. that Kaiser, I can't believe you remember that. That was hilarious. Well, I guess <laughs> it was that same podcast. I don't know. I don't think it was that one because that would have been wasn't the it uh, a, Wasn't it a – oh, no, it was an All-Star. It was an All-Star. It was an All-Star, All-Star break. break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> then i also then i also screw up the super bowl then i also say that somebody was going to be pre- or is that the reason why i said sting? i think that's the reason you said sting and then why we, you said sting you said sting during yeah. the super bowl podcast yeah like I think he, he was it. the halftime show and he was actually going to be the halftime show for the, the all-star, the all-star, all-star, NBA, game, all-star the NBA. yep right yeah. which still doesn't make sense but yeah no but that's another another issue altogether oh, what's what's the name of that syndrome where like people say the they in their mind, they have the right word, but they say the wrong thing. It's almost like like calling like a table a chair on accident. Like I, I think there's actually like a a disorder for that. Like not dyslexia, but it's like a form of it, where like your brain has all of the knowledge it needs to do, but then it's like then you have to outsource it to your mouth. Whatever that is, I am Asperger's as shit with that problem because <laughs> I that's always been my problem. Oh, I have man. no idea. I think you just try to create your own syndrome right now. Just to I, I'm trying to put myself on the spectrum somewhere. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to look through right now, see some of our, um, you know, biggest podcasts, the ones that have the most downloads, the most plays. And still the biggest shocker for me was part of the board game revolution when the Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective review uh, just absolutely killed it. Uh, next I'm still to- convinced that somebody hit refresh a lot. <laughs> uh, Pat, Pat and Penning, by the way, Kaiser came up with Board Game Revolution. That's so true. That's someone's always- using that out there. Get, get some royalties. That's right. Absolutely. Uh, and believe it or not, scrolling through, The Killing Joke was another very popular one. Uh, heavily downloaded one when we reviewed The Killing Joke, which, of course, we were all, I think, fairly disappointed in. Yes, yes. As a comic book fan, I was very disappointed in it. Uh, and then, believe it or not, right before episode 31 and 32, we just killed it. Now we were in a sweet spot right there. In episode 31, the MLB midseason review. Believe Ugh. it or not, absolutely killed it with that. A lot of downloads. Nailed it. It was the sad part is it was a mid. It's not like it was even like a, a you a, know a World Series preview. Or yeah, like be, or yeah. A it was a mid year preview. Yeah, like who cares? Like um, it's it's like someone talking a podcast about like all right, we're now hour four into cooking this turkey. Let's yeah. talk about it. <laughs> And, and like uh, in baseball is the worst. Like in the middle of the season in baseball, who gives a shit? Like so right. much can still happen. Right, so you're much. either you're either prepping the turkey or you're eating the turkey. Those are the two exciting parts. <laughs> I love part how, all your analogies about food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make this relatable to the audience that maybe just doesn't understand how boring it's like, baseball is right now. It's right like now, baseball's have, boring. It's like when you have a hamburger but you only have one piece of cheese on it, so too. I I believe that. <laughs> A, a true cheeseburger. It's like a sandwich where the where the, the cheese is the bun. <laughs> oh god. Uh, <laughs> um, you know what? But I'm, screw this. Peeling behind the curtain. 
Kaiser just left us for us, left us out to dry. He's over here. Give me one second in Skype. So let's just uh, let's talk about the fact that uh, Haddix. Uh, one thing I did want to ask you is uh, how how is it for the past couple of weeks? Because I know that you have been obviously MIA. Uh, yes. What's I mean? What's I guess my thing is now that we're doing this new uh, new setup. What do you what do you think your uh, your situation is going to be? Do you think it's going to be kind of a little bit more of the same? Or are you looking forward to hopefully more of a steady sleep schedule for the for the little Silv? Pending she doesn't. Uh, I've heard that it's possible for uh, babies to regress uh, in their sleeping schedules. Uh, so she is at least for the about since we got back from vacation. Uh, so maybe a couple weeks now, week and a half. She basically goes to bed at about nine and sleeps till uh, between four thirty and six. Sometimes she gets up at four thirty. Uh, this morning she slept till about six. Lindsay will feed her, and then she typically goes back down for another two and a half, three hours. So we've gotten very lucky on her that's, sleeping. That's pretty at good night. now. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't nap much during the day. Like a lot of babies will take like two or three hour nap twice a day or something like that. And she doesn't really nap a lot during the day. She'll sleep for like a half an hour. Some days she'll she'll get some good naps in, but it's almost worth it with her sleeping so well at night. So if that schedule continues, you know, it's you know I'm able to like record this now because she's pretty scheduled. So unless you know maybe she's fussy or something, she's not feeling good or something like that. Uh, I can usually bank on her being down at nine, and we're gonna try to get that to like eight thirty once Lindsay starts going back to work. So. Well, the one thing that's going to be nice about this podcast, too, is that we – because we're going week by week with the, with these – with the Nitro and Raw, if we're starting in 95, right? Uh, I mean I'm pretty sure the last episode of Nitro is 2001, something like that. That sounds, so, that sounds right, yeah. So if you think about it, we've got like six years – potentially of content oh, to we have, do. Oh, we have a lot of content. Yeah, absolutely. And so so even if like even if like Haddix at the beginning you're, you know, obviously you've got kids and, you know, I oh, mean, yeah, one's yeah. enough, one's enough clearly. Um then uh, obviously once the kid is of, you know, of age where you can just tell that kid to, "Hey man, go eat a pretzel and go away." Like, by the way, that's how that's how <laughs> that's that's how I that's how I would raise my kid. If the kid's the bugging food, me, I just give him like I give him give, give him a back. pretzel rod. Just throw, like, Hogan, Hogan, did you have dinner before we recorded this podcast? Because are you just really like hungry right now? He had a tur- he had a turkey, a hamburger, and some pretzels before we started. <laughs> a couple layers of cheese in between there. I had I had I had two turkey sausages and rice cauliflower for dinner today. Mm. Sounds way too healthy for you. Yeah, it sounds like sounds like something I would never eat, but it is something I did eat. But, but don't worry. For, for lunch, for lunch, I had shri- I had shrimp lo mein at a local, <laughs> a, a local Chinese food restaurant. Naturally. Uh, but you no, know, it's. Uh, I gotta say, I'm, I'm looking forward to this new this new show. I think it'll. I, have fun. I, have fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, you know, we'll never have to worry last minute about what the next week's show is going to be. Scrambling together. I mean, we've scrambled together, and we've got a couple of. A couple episodes in the past are, are the results of us scrambling together for a topic in the last minute, and uh, those shows usually suffered a bit. So this yeah. this time we we're not going to have that. We're going to always have a new content or not new content, so to speak. But we'll always know what the next week's content's going to be. So yeah. uh, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be good. Um, you know, there there is one downside I just thought about. There, there's and that is uh, we're going to probably lose our. Um, most devoted fan, and that is Shannon the super oh, fan. That's true, Shannon the super fan. Because I don't. Because I, I, I mean, uh, I think I think her I think her husband is a is a well, wrestling that, fan. You know I, that I that could be where it's at. Is I was going to say I think her husband, you know, at least was a you know who wasn't what what male around age thirty wasn't a fan of wrestling back in the you know the late nineties. So uh, maybe we'll lose her, but we'll gain her husband. So you know, could still be a win. And here's the thing. Ultimately, Shannon is is we can mold her. We can mold her into a wrestling fan. She'll get. She was. She didn't give a crap about DC until uh, we started doing podcasts about it. And the next thing you know, she's messaging me or talking to me about Wonder Woman and looking forward to like our next DC talks and comic book movie talks because now she's 
into them now. So maybe if uh, maybe she gives us a chance, maybe she'll start uh, wearing some Austin three sixteen t shirts from back in the day. Who knows? There you have it. I mean, that's uh, it's always a possibility. Shannon, don't leave us. Is what we're saying. <laughs> Uh, but that's about all I've got, guys. Is there anything else you want to say before we kind of wrap things up on the Pseudo Nerd Podcast? All I want to say is Huggy likes food a lot, if you couldn't tell from this podcast. And all I'll say is rest in peace uh, most of my idiotic moments on this podcast. Because <laughs> now, now, I'm saying it right now, I am the Lorax of wrestling and you're not gonna you're not gonna catch me sleeping on uh, on facts, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess up Sting being on the uh, being on the Super Bowl. So <laughs> those those moments will be over. So if you if you were all looking forward to the the moments where I slip up, and you now know what? I, episode, episode one I'll probably slip up. I was gonna so say not. now I'm literally gonna like call you out every time you slip up just because you said that. So I'm gonna be on says, my game. Says, says the guy who hasn't watched didn't watch wrestling until ninety. So you got you got hey. two years, son, of of experience in brand new wrestling. Hey, don't 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 you worry about that. <laughs> well, uh, there you have it. And I just got a notification on my computer that my computer is about to restart in fourteen minutes, and there's a countdown, and I can't stop it. <laughs> so if there's if there's ever a reason for us to end the podcast i guess that's going to be a good way that's of, it right there of putting that's us as out. terminal as it gets because i do have to still upload it after after we get off of here so not that it's going to take 14 minutes but it could take a you know three hey, or four, that'd anyways. be a good omen we have we have to re-record the last one just like we re-recorded the first one <laughs> it would be um full circle yeah serendipitous poetic, in some sure. sorts yeah there you go um but that said, uh, that's all I got. Listen, uh, you know, follow us at Pseudo Nerd Podcast at least to give updates on the the upcoming podcast we have, which will have brand new handles, and then you can just unfollow that piece of shit, that piece right. of shit, and go and to then, our next one anyway. And then you can follow that one on iTunes. Leave us that five star rating even before an episode gets released because why not? Yep, you already you already know the quality. We don't even know the name of the podcast yet. For right now, it's just you know, placeholder. That's the name of our. That is the name of the podcast. There you go. Uh, for one last time, from the Great Lakes to the Golden Gate, back to the Great Lakes. I am Josh Kaiser. He is Josh Haddix, and he is Kyle Hogan. And we will not see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good Friday. We're gonna need a new ending. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>